Hi guys and welcome to this little tutorial about how to set up an uh, NVIDIA Jetson Xavier in order to work with MATLAB and to use at full potential um, uh, this uh, uh, awesome uh, board. Okay, since I further further ado, let's uh, switch to the uh, PC and, the, and uh, let's dig into the different steps in order to set up properly this board. First of all, Okay, I would like to introduce the fact that in order to configure and set up this board, uh, you should install Jetpack on your uh, Linux device. Uh, you need a specific machine in order to set up properly the Jetson Xavier, and in order to do that, you need uh, to download the Jetpack here. In particular, here you have to select the uh, SDK Manager. Okay, for the Jetson Developer Kit that is different from uh, the one uh, developed for Na Jetson Nano and Jetson Xavier NX. You have to, to download this one, click download and follow the instruction. After performing this operation you have to uh, follow the exact, uh, um, let's say, path that uh, the software gives you and in particular I can suggest you to uh, split the installation in two in the sense that you can first of all download all the, um, all the code needed that are around 8 gigs of uh, material and uh, second you can perform the installation in order to mm, if you don't have a very fast connection uh, split the two operation if you want to use this board as a remote desktop, in the case you don't, you don't have access to uh, a keyboard, mouse and the screen, meanwhile this board is operating and working, I can uh, suggest you to follow with the, 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 following, uh, um, the following steps. In particular, uh, what I'm gonna show you is how to change the standard uh, graphical interface that uh, inter face, sorry for the jokes, uh, with the uh, remote connection and um, to install a different uh, user interface that uh, can, uh, um, can allow, allow the connection with the um, remote desktop. In particular, switching to the next tab, uh, I found that uh, the use of XFCE desktop uh, works very well and uh, it's also light and fast. So, I perform and I follow this uh, guide that uh, show us how to install XFCE and Xubuntu, that is a, a package that allows to have the uh, common application that we are uh, you commonly used in the standard Ubuntu installation, the classical interface, also on XFCG. Okay, uh, you can follow this, uh, this guide by its FOSS. You can perform the following operation, install the software, uh, log in to the software by XFCA session, and then you can install Xubuntu. And what I can suggest to you is, first of all, very important, do this operation. So switch from uh, GDM3 to uh, LightDM. That is the core of uh, the um, switching from one uh, um, from one uh, graphical interface to the other one. Because the um, the part that interferes with the X uh, uh, remote desktop uh, XRDP is the uh, GDM3. That is the new um, let's say display manager uh, that. Uh, that uh, Ubuntu use after the release uh, 16. So if you install the 18.4, uh, that is the standard one for Nvidia Xavier, you uh, want to switch back to the Light DM, that is the uh, manager, uh, display manager from the uh, oldest version in order to perform the XRDP uh, connection. I know it's quite complex, uh, but if you follow this guide, uh, you can uh, um, achieve the remote connection. So you follow, blah, 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 blah. The important thing is that uh, I suggest you to remove 
the old um, graphical interface that call, it's called the GNOME by uh, doing this operation. So sudo remove uh, now to blah 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 blah. And uh, uh, once you done this, you are uh, with a fresh new graphical interface called XFCE with uh, um, X Subuto. Okay, moving on, um, we need to install the XRDP connection. So by following this other gu uh, guide, um, you can install the uh, XFCE here. Okay, so you do sudo app install XRDP. Once you have done this, uh, you can check the status and uh, configuring if you want to change uh, any uh, further implementation. One important thing is to allow and to open the port uh, 3389, that is the one um, in charge for the connection to the, uh, is the port that is, um, let's say, selected once you want to uh, connect and interchange information between the in NVIDIA Xavier and one PC that have the RDP protocol client. Okay, so in order to talk each other, you have to uh, unlock and open the port 3389. Okay, once you have done it, you are ready to go and by any machine in Windows, you can open remote desktop connection or if you have any other machine, you, you simply search for a RDP client and you can log in into your uh, NVIDIA Xavier board. In particular, I can show you this we can open the RDP remote desktop connection. Okay, this is my local IP for of the board. I click connect, I say okay um, to uh, the identify the remote, uh, the identity of the remote computer cannot be um, uh, verified, but doesn't care, I'm sure that is the, the right computer. I put the username and password. I click OK and I'm ready to go. Perfect. One little disclosure about this whole operation. Um, first, you can always go back to the oldest one by flashing fr fresh new board. So you can uh, put it in recovery mode, the Xavier, and uh, um, install the old uh, um, install the old uh, graphical interface. Second of all, this um, is quite uh, important, this operation, because uh, the incompatibility between the old, uh, let's say, um, Windows Manager, so the default one for the uh, installation that NVIDIA provides us, and the RDP, XRDP software, they are this, uh, um, this incompatible are very, um, very strong and you cannot fix it uh, by in what I, I, I have uh, uh, tried. N none of the, that can fix this uh, incompatibility. So the only way is to install XFCE, Xubuntu, and then install the um, XRDP uh, software. Okay, so now, uh, the goal of this guide uh, is to uh, show you that uh, you can also connect to this board using the uh, MATLAB. So uh, I close the session, okay, and I move to the part relative to MATLAB. Okay. First of all, in order to use properly this board, you have to set up and uh, um, connect the NVIDIA board to MATLAB. So this is the board supported, okay. This is what you need to install in the board in order to uh, perform all of the possible commands that MATLAB provides us. In particular, you have to, do, to install CUDA Toolkit, QDNN Library, uh, TensorRT, OpenCV, and GS Stream. As the uh, installation here, the, the guide uh, line uh, explain, you, uh, in order to install uh, GSTREAM, you can use this sudo apt-get install libsd1.2 um, line dev and the other one. And uh, second of all, in order to um, uh, install and 
better not to install because the truth is that CUDA toolkit is already installed but MATLAB search it into a uh, let's say in a path that is not the correct one so as the guideline explained you have to modify the .bash rc file let's see how to modify this .bash rc file I open putty Aye. Putty is the standard SSH, um, let's say, software to connect to uh, a, a remote board using uh, um, a Windows uh, a Windows computer. I write down my uh, IP. Well, not my IP, the IP of the board that I want to connect to. I click OK. I have to put a username and password. OK, I'm in. Now, I have to modify this bash rc file. What I can do is uh, type nano.bash rc. OK, I'm in my .bash rc file. And uh, immediately uh, I can find that I have to, well, this is already modified, but we can compare the, uh, the MATLAB suggestion to my, uh, my file. In particular here you can say if uh, not running iteratively don't do anything okay so we are in the same uh, uh, let's say part of the of the um, bash rc file and then we I change it from export path uh, use local cuda.bin into user local cuda um, score 10.2 slash bin because because from the latest version of CUDA core, that one uh, that is uh, currently installed on my Xavier, you need to specify the, uh, the correct folder that is no longer CUDA, but you have to specify the version. So you, when you want to, to modify the bash RC file, you have to specify this. Okay, perfect. In, in my case, I have just uh, fixed it and I'm ready to go on. I can close this, good, yes. And in uh, last uh, big program that I, I want to install into my um, NVIDIA Xavier is uh, ROS. In particular, ROS, uh, Roper uh, Robotic Operating System, is the most common, um, let's say, system to uh, control and to develop uh, uh, mobile robots. And uh, in order to install it on Jetson, I follow the uh, default guideline that uh, uh, the community wiki ROS uh, provides us. And in particular, I search for Ubuntu install for, of uh, ROS Melodic, that is the one that is the one compatible with the current version of the software. Because remember that each type of Ubuntu distribution uh, is matched, is paired with a specific distribution of ROS. In particular, if I have the 16 Ubuntu, I need to install ROS Kinetic. If I have the 18 version, I have to install ROS Melodic. Okay, and uh, so on. I mean, in the in now when I'm uh, recording this video, latest release is the 18. Um, tomorrow, I don't know, maybe it's is the 20. On each two release, uh, you have the new version of ROS. Okay, I follow this guide line. Uh, I perform this uh, operation, so I prepare the source list. I do the installation, the full installation. In my case, I perform the full installation, but it's not mandatory. Depends on what you need uh, to install for your ROS application. If you don't know what you need to the complete installation, so you are sure that all the information are correctly installed. And then I, I finish the, the guide. Okay, last um, important thing is, what about uh, MATLAB connection? Okay, we can do this little search. I can search Jetson. Okay. And in particular, we can find that there's this beautiful uh, MathWorks provide us this beautiful uh, function that is called Jetson that uh, uh, built and establish a connection between the Jetson board and our uh, MathWorks uh, MATLAB uh, environment. Okay, let's move on MATLAB and let's see what's happened. Okay, you can see now the command window completely blank. What I can do is to create a new object called 
board that is equal to JSON. Okay, if you have performed correctly all your um, steps that I just explained to you, you should find, as I'm showing on my desktop, um, the perfect connection. Okay, if you have any problem, like uh, the same problem that I, I encountered my first time was that uh, MATLAB cannot find the CUDA version because you uh, fix the bashrc file without the new specification that I just give you, so the specification of uh, line 10.2. So you have to fix this. Then uh, last time I tried it, uh, give me a problem about SDL version because I didn't install SDL. So again, follow the step before and install also SDL version, even for the V4L2 and so on. But now, if you have performed all the steps I just explained correctly, you are ready to go. And what I can do with this uh, interface? But first of all, what I can do is to open the shell of the board. Open shell. And here you can see that, as I showed you before, Okay, it's pop-up put interface and I, I'm connected and ready to modify my shell interface. Okay, second of all, if I need to perform some type of uh, uh, system um, operation on the uh, JSON board, I can simply uh, write system, the system on which I want to execute this uh, operation, in particular board, because why why I have to specify the system? Because if you have um, many systems connected to your uh, MATLAB, okay, you can specify on which system you want to go to perform this operation. And in particular, easy ls the, the list of the file, okay, perfect. And it gives us the information about the system, the, the, the list of the systems. Of course, if you need to discover more of this command, you simply search uh, help on the Matworks uh, support page and you can find that the JSON has many, 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 um, let's say, commands. So if you go here, you can find some examples, but also if you, if you want, you can find the topics, the function and so on and so forth. Okay, for today is uh, I have explained what I have to what I want to show to you. So um, if you have any question, uh, you can uh, type it into the comment section, and uh, in the link in the description below, I piece uh, the all the um, all the link to the pages I just show you, and. Um, um, if you are interested in this type of video and uh, you want to, keep, to be updated on the, the future one, uh, leave uh, a like so I encourage to do new videos and subscribe to my channel. Uh, and uh, for today is, uh, is all. Bye bye from Alberto.